Nuvolet is the strongest Hydro DPS and in this video, I will tell you the ultimate C0 Nuvolet build. We will go over Nuvolet's best weapons, artifacts and his strongest teams that can trivialize any content in the game. Now let's jump in. Nuvolet is a main DPS and he relies mainly on his charge attacks, equitable judgment for 90% of his damage while the remaining part is fulfilled by his elemental skill and burst. His charge attack, elemental skill and elemental burst all does damage based on his max HP but his charge attack takes a long time to charge up. This is his elemental skill and burst comes into play. His elemental skill on cast will deal damage and will create 3 source water droplets and Nuvolet can absorb these 3 source water droplets to instantly charge his charge attack and similarly his burst will create 6 source water droplets that he can use to charge his charge attacks twice and his elemental skill and burst will do significant damage as well because they also scale off HP. So a normal rotation with Nuvolet will be to use his elemental skill followed by his elemental burst then firing off 3 charge attacks. But that's not all, Nuvolet's passive talents increases damage tremendously. His first passive gives him damage bonus based on the number of different hydro reactions triggered by your team by 10%, 25% and 60%. So it is preferred to pair him up with 3 different elemental teammates who can trigger the said reactions. While his second passive also increases his hydro damage bonus by up to 30% when his HP is full but this bonus decreases when he loses HP. So due to Nuvelet getting so much damage buffs from his kit, his team building becomes very accessible as you can use some premium supports to massively boost his damage or you can use some free to play 4 star characters in case you don't have those premium supports to deal some very good damage. Now let's move on to how to build Nuvolet. His weapon options are vast but the best weapon for Nuvolet is going to be signature weapon Tomb of the Eternal Flow. It gives a ton of crit damage as well as increased charge attack damage and some max HP increase and energy regen as well. But other 5 stars like the Surf Sup is also very good for the high crit damage and 20% max HP increase though Nuvolet cannot utilize the passive of Surf Sup but the stats are very valuable to make this weapon his second best 5 star option and you can also use the lost prayers kagura's verity and the jade for splendor for their respective stats and nuvolet's best 4 star and free to play weapon will be the prototype amber mainly due to the high hp it provides and the passive but other hp weapons like the ash craving drinking horn and the rings of yakshay are also viable but for crit weapons sacrificial jade will be the best if you can properly use its passive or you can use the vidsith or the solar pearl for their respective crit damage and crit rate and as for artifacts we also have some options. His best artifact set will be the Marashuse Hunter 4 piece set which provides 15% charge attack damage and up to 36% crit rate when HP is lost or restored. And Nuvolet gains HP when he absorbs source water droplets and loses HP while firing his charge attack. So this set perfectly synergizes with his kit making the 4 piece Marashuse Hunter his best artifact choice. But 4 piece Wanderer Troop and the Heart of Depth are also very good as they give 35% and 30% charge attack damage increase respectively. And as Nuvolet scales off HP give him HP percent sands, hydro damage bonus goblet and crit damage circlet if running the Marashuse hunter but sometimes you can opt for a HP percent goblet if you have external damage buffs like Forina's fanfare or from the scroll set and for substats prioritize crit rate and crit damage then HP percent and flat HP and then some energy recharge but keep in mind that you can overcap crit rate on him as you will gain 36% crit rate from the artifact so aim for around 50 to 60% crit rate to be safe but don't go over 64% and finally it's time for teams Nuvolet has a lot of powerful teams ranging from using only 4 star characters to using top tier 5 stars. But Nuvolet's strongest team is with Shiloden, Kazuha and Furina. This team has the highest DPS in Genshin Impact thanks to Kazuha and Shiloden reducing enemies resistance and also giving damage boost through skills and artifacts and Furina also provides a ton of damage bonus with her fanfare which skyrockets Nuvolet's damage and with Nuvolet and running one Favonius weapon on either Kazuha or Shiloden will make sure Furina never has any energy issues but as strong as this team is is, we cannot fully maximize Nuvolet's first passive so we are losing out on 35% damage. Crazy right? But this can be remedied with his C1 which grants him 1 stack whenever he takes field and also increases his interruption resistance which is massively helpful. But still this team is Nuvolet's strongest team even at C0. But don't worry if you don't have these ridiculously powerful 5 stars. Nuvolet's best free to play team is with Sucrose, Charlotte and Fischl or Aurora. Sucrose with Viridus and Venrier will rest red while Charlotte is a very potent healer and she can freeze enemies with her elemental skill and Fischl will do great off field damage and with the recent buffs to electro charge she will deal even more damage or you can replace Fischl for Auroron to gain 40% damage buff through the scroll set and not only that Nuvolet has some hyper bloom teams with Nahida, Kuki and one rest red unit like Kazuha or Sucrose. This team can also trigger 3 reactions thus giving Nuvolet full 60% damage boost but due to not having external buffs Nuvolet damage will not be very high but that is made up by the hyper blooms which will deal anywhere from 35k to 40k damage damage 
each and there are various other teams like bloom vaporize freeze etc which are all powerful but if i were to list them this video will be an hour long so instead here are some more good teams that people are using But remember one thing when building a good team, focusing on boosting Nivellet's personal damage with supports is the best way to build a good team for him, so remember that. So Nivellet has many amazing weapons, a lot of versatility when it comes to team building that makes him one of the greatest and strongest character in Genshin Impact. But just building Nivellet and neglecting the super powerful supports who buff him is a huge mistake. So watch how to build those supports properly by clicking these videos and I will see ya next time.